Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can pull updated code from GitHub in our Visual Studio Code project and how we can merge them. I have this project here and let's check our Git repository. And this is the file that is open in VS Code. So I'll open this and I'm just checking if there's been any other change. So here, as you can see, I've written master sam and then it's just a print message below that but in our git repository there's this new change and this is a change by dev1 so someone else has pushed an updated code to github now other way to check this is you can just go to py assistant that is your main project directory here and this is the latest commit that is three minutes ago you can just click on this to see all the commits and here as you can see this new change is added now, if I go back to my local project here and check this and click on new terminal and do git status, it will show it is up to date with origin, but it is not up to date because there have been a new change. So it just means that we have pushed everything to origin. So that means that we have pushed our code, but we have not gotten the latest changes. That is this new change. You can verify this by checking git log. Here, as you can see, we only have assistant working. That means we have code till here, not here. So how can we pull this? Okay, so the command is git pull origin and then which branch do you want to pull? So this is in main main branch, right? So you just type main, hit enter and you will have the latest code. So as you can see, new change is already here. But if you had made some change and there's also another change in your repository, you'll get a merge issue. So how can we fix that? So let's say I do a change by dev1 and another, let's say I write my change. Okay. <clears throat> now let's assume that another developer pushes something to GitHub repository. So let's try to uh, emulate that so what I'll do is I'll just directly edit the file here to emulate it being pushed by someone else so let's say I'll edit this file and I'll write new one and I'll, let's say another change by dev1 okay and let's commit this and I'll write new update by dev1 and so now what we have here is we have this code in our remote repository that is another change by dev1 and here we have my change so now these two are in conflict so if i pull this again as you can see you get an error message that says please commit your changes or stash them before you merge because we have our code here we had we have different code here so what we can do is first let's commit our change here right so i'll just say git commit my change okay and then pull again and this time as you can see you get this here so it is now asking us to either keep one or the other or merge both of them so what can we do so as you can see this current change means the change that we had done all right and below it's it is saying uh, this is the change done by another dev so incoming change means the change done by something somebody else so either you can click on accept current change so it will keep your code or you can click on accept incoming change it will keep someone else's code or you can click on accept both changes so let's say i click on accept both changes so as you can see this new one is added below my change so now we have both the code and i can save this and again i'll commit this and let's say merge with dev1 feature right and now if i push this okay it's not master it's main branch and let's go back to our github and refresh this and now we have changed by both the developers. So this is how you can pull and merge latest change from GitHub. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.